VR chat. How to upload an avatar. First of all, you need a VR chat account or merge an existing Oculus or Steam VR chat account to an official VR chat account and have the rank of new user or higher. Download and install the Unity Hub from Unity. Make a Unity account as the avatar you'll be using will be from the Unity Asset Store. Log into your VRChat account on the VRChat website and navigate to the download button. Check for the current version of Unity to download by clicking setting up the SDK and then clicking current version of Unity. Click the hyperlink followed by the current Unity version used by VRChat is. This brings you to the Unity page. Click the hyperlink, install this version with Unity Hub. Click open with Unity Hub. Unity Hub will launch, add Android build support, and then next. If there are any other window prompts, it's best practice to blindly accept anything. Now the correct version of Unity is installing. Navigate back to the VRChat download page and click on the Download SDK3 Avatars button. Make sure you save it to a place you can find later. Once Unity is done installing, go click Project the new button and type in a fitting project name and change the location if desired. Click Create and wait until Unity finishes launching. Here is a super quick rundown of the layout of Unity. The scene is where you see all the stuff currently being used in the project. The hierarchy is the list of stuff in your scene. The inspector is where you see the specific details about your stuff you've selected in your hierarchy or scene. The project window is the actual files in the project, whether or not they're in the scene. Find where you saved your VRChat SDK file and drag it into the project window. Click import to add the SDK to your project. When that is done, there'll be a VRChat SDK button in the top ribbon. Click the button and select Show Control Panel. Click and drag the VRChat SDK tab to the Inspector tab. Now you can click between the Inspector and the SDK. Log into your VRChat account through the SDK. This will be the same username and password you use to log into VRChat. Now we need to add an avatar to our project. Avatars can be found in many different places, but for this example, I chose to use Unity Chan from the Unity Asset Store. Click the Asset Store tab in the Scene window to access the store. If you do not see this tab, click the Window button, then Asset Store. Search for Unity Chan and click on the Unity Chan model and download it. Once it is done downloading, you can import it to the project by clicking the Import button where the download button used to be. Click Import on the pop up window. Navigate to your Scene window and click through the Unity Chan folder until you find the Prefabs folder. Open the Prefabs folder. Click and drag the Unity Chan Prefab into your hierarchy. You can click the Prefab once in the Project folder to check the details in the Inspector. We are not going to be using the dynamic version of this model. Here is a crash course in scene navigation. Mouse wheel scroll. Zooms in and out. Mouse wheel button. Drags. Holding right mouse button rotates your view. Holding right mouse button while using WASD is familiar FPS navigation. If you lose your model, select it in your hierarchy, hover your mouse over the scene, and press F to snap to it. Select the model in the hierarchy and click Add Component at the bottom of the inspector. Type in VRC. Select the VRC avatar descriptor. The VRChan SDK now knows that Unity Chan is supposed to be an avatar. It is time to set the view position in the avatar descriptor. Click Edit and select the red axis on the gizmo in the top right hand corner of the scene. Then click the ISO view button under the gizmo. Click and hold the red square in the view position sphere and move it in between the eyes. Now back in the inspector, click the return button to set the view position. Click the perspective view to switch out of ISO. Optional. The shader that comes with Unity Cham makes her pitch black in many worlds. I changed her shader to the VRChat Tune shader to remedy this. To do this, click the triangle next to Unity Chan in the hierarchy to expand its contents. Expand mesh underscore root. Character models are made up mostly of bones and meshes. Bones are invisible and control movement, and meshes are mostly what we see in texture. These are all the meshes in the model. Select one of them, then in the inspector, right click on the shader component and select Select Material. The project folder is now navigated to the Materials folder. Select all the materials and in the inspector, click the shader dropdown and select VRChat Mobile Toonlet. Most of the model looks good now, except for the blocky cheeks and the hulky green eyes. Select the cheeks and the eye materials and change the shader to VRChat Mobile Particles Multiply. 
Select the VRChat SDK tab next to the Inspector tab and select Builder. The SDK has found some errors with my avatar. The red stop signs mean the avatar will not upload unless these items are fixed. Everything else are just strongly worded warnings, but will not prevent the avatar from being uploaded. By selecting Autofix, the SDK will change or remove the incompatible aspects of the model. The avatar is ready for uploading. Build and Test will create a local copy of the avatar that you will test in-game. This can be found under the Favorites row in-game. Build and Publish will upload the avatar to the VRChat servers and can be found above the Avatar Favorites row. This will take longer than Build and Test and will require more information, like avatar name, descriptor, content warnings, and sharing. Sharing has two checkboxes, private will make the avatar not clonable and public will. Congratulations, you've uploaded your very first avatar. It's not perfect, but it's a start. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to change this PC-only avatar into a Quest avatar. Thanks for watching.